Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pansy Missionary Baptist Church. I am Bobby Rouse, the pastor. We are planning to have church uh, October the 4th at 11 a.m. one service that Sunday. That is the first Sunday in October. I wanted to mention those that feel comfortable, the doors are open. Uh, Southern Baptist Relief efforts are in also are in Texas, Louisiana, Florida, Alabama, and out west in the far area. Uh, if you've had an anniversary birthday, best wishes to you. Also, best uh, wishes this month uh, for the birthday people. Uh, that's Eddie Ray, uh, Vanita, Vicky, and Ralph. Happy birthday to you. Uh, before we go to our Lord in prayer, let's remember all the sick, those that uh, are recovering from the virus, uh, and also let's remember the families of those that have a uh, loved one passed into eternity. Remember those that are in the hospital. Remember our neighbors, one another, that we need, that needs our prayer so des desperately. Let's pray. And our Heavenly Father, thank you again for this wonderful day that you've given us, for thy mercy and thy love that you have shown us, for being a God that we can come to, talk to, and knowing that thou art in charge of all things. Father, we pray and ask thy blessing upon uh, our request that we're mentioned here today, this week. Each one uh, that lo that's loved ones that's maybe in the hospitals or uh, loved ones that has passed into eternity. Be with the, the, their families at this time of sorrow and give them the strength that they need because they need all the help they can get. Go with us and direct us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, for the last couple of weeks, we have been speaking on in the book of Genesis. Now, I want to go over to the book of Hebrews. A lot of people don't like to look in the Old Testament. That's Old Testament. That's old stuff. But let's look at the 11th chapter of Genesis. The 11th chapter is a chapter of Hebrews is a chapter of faith. It is referred to as the Hall of Fame. Uh, so in verse 8, it says, By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place where he should I to receive as an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing where he went. By faith he sojourned in a land of promise, as in a foreign country dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he uh, looked for a city which has had foundation, whose builder and maker was God. Now, the four greatest and most prominent men of the Old Testament in the book of Genesis are Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. Uh, through these, their descendants, we have, uh, we, God uh, gave us the Bible, and he also gave us a Savior uh, with this. Uh, and it all sums up in Romans 8. Uh, that gives us the history of these four men. In Romans 8.30, it says, Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. We have the four steps or definition or defined, beginning in the eternal purpose of God and ending in the eternal glorification. We have the predestination, the calling, the justification, and glorification. These four steps are give us, gives us the foundation, the preparation, the operation, and the consummation of our salvation. Abraham is, a, is an example of, a, uh, of a predestination. An election. Isaac demonstrates the effectiveness calling of God. Jacob is a picture of justification. Joseph is the great type of glorification. All this was given to us as an example for us that we could look and see what God is doing, the purpose of our redemption. 
uh, we uh, want to remember those that uh, are having problems and difficulties. Pray for them this week. Remember all those requests. Uh, we have a lot. We invite you to come and be with us uh, when we start church. That is uh, October the 4th. Uh, and we always say a church where everyone is somebody. And Jesus Christ is still Lord of the church. Thank you. God bless each and every one of you. Amen.